Hey everybody, I'm just going to do a Hallsworth video. I'm talking about some of my favorite ideas of his. Um, this is a tribute to him and uh, my my tribute. Uh, I thought the best way to remember him would just be to, um, to popularize his music more and just to get more people playing it. And this is uh, some of, these are some of my favorites called from a lot of his uh, different uh, recordings. Okay, so the first one is from the jo Johansson Brothers uh, Heavy Machinery album. And it goes something like this. Okay, so that's pretty easy. So we, we just do this kind of a... Uh, This is that, that uh, tricky pinky bar technique that I like to call it because your pinky is barring two strings, see? see our, and it's, it makes fourths, playing fourths real easy, you know? And see, the thing is, it's like you slam down, you, you hit both the strings, right? But because my middle, fi my middle finger right here is just sitting right here on the A string, only the, only the low E string sounds, right? And so then I go ahead and pluck it once the notes died off a little bit naturally. You don't come in and like like palm mute it and mute it. You just you just you just well yeah. The other note coming in just kind of stops it. Stops the other the new note stops the old, overrides the old note. And I just do it twice. Three times. This lick doesn't have to be that fast. And so what we have here, this uh, little idea is, um, okay, so we're just going down, up, up middle so this is a swibrid idea I call swibrid because it's and here's where I got came with the word sweeping combined with hybrid so we're sweeping and right at right during a sweep like right or right after where we come in with the hybrid picking and so you can play really fast okay then it happens again except it's at 10 14 14 so it happens at it happens at um, 10 13 13 on the D string right 10 13 13 that's C E flat B flat and then you come back to the C Okay, and so that's the next part of the lick. We'll get into that. But see, what's going on here is, is we're going. So, uh, so this part is. Oh, sorry, my bad. We don't go back to C. I wasn't reading it. <laughs> Always read your notes correctly. That's. Uh... You'd be surprised how often uh, that can be a simple really simple mistake can occur, you know? I, I'm pretty sure he would do something like this. Yeah, but, um, I just, I just think it's easier and quicker just to... to do swibrid. And you can just either bar here with the ring finger on the 13th fret and come grab that E flat here at the 13th fret D string. And then you go, and then you go 10, 14, 14. So that's G, B, F, F sharp. And, but you don't come back to the B, you go to A, and you'll see because we're getting into the next lick. Okay, and so that leads into the next lick. And um, 
I tried to pick these because they uh, just sound good playing just but and they're uh, use you can use them in your own playing and, and you can throw them in there and um, and you have some nice legato ideas in your own playing um, and you wouldn't want to do maybe the whole run but maybe you could who cares it's you know there are no rules but um, uh, you could just pick uh, segments just little bits and pieces out of them chunks out of them that could be enough so here well here's the next lick and it's, it's from the Johansson brothers uh, heavy machinery uh, the first track, Joint Ventures. Um. And you know, and always we're gonna we're trying to practice good good legato technique here, where we trying to all get that all hammer sound, uniformity of sound. Um, yeah, and and um, smooth, of course. No noise, good good muting, palm muting, and um, and all, all hammers will help with that. And so there's a string skip in here. We're gonna skip over the B string, and that's really easy with a hybrid picking. You can just you, can, you don't have to move your pick over. You can just grab it with your hybrid picking fingers. And so it sounds like it's speeding up here and, and it you get that impression because the first few notes are uh, 16th note triplets, groupings of six. Um, and then he goes into uh, like 30 second notes. So here's, here's how the whole thing goes on each string. I'm gonna go string by string, right? And we're doing all hammers. And when you have to change, and you, when you change strings, pick very lightly. And then, and even you try and just brush your fingertip across the string. That adds a lot to the smoothness instead of having a big pick stroke. So, okay, so the first string is on the A string, you know, A at F sharp. We're going. Okay, and then you're going to do that again on the D string. Not the same figure 9, 12, 10, 9, 10, 12. And then you're going to go on the G string. Okay, so just just that E F sharp G F sharp E, and then you're gonna go D C B C D D D C B C D, and then you do and then you go. G, F sharp, E, F sharp, G, E, G, and then you go C, D, E. So let's, let's take it again slowly. Okay, once again fast. Okay. So that's that can be used over, you know, uh, E minor. Or A minor. So, use it. And uh, and here's the next leg. This is more of an outside kind of thing, but it's still really neat. Uh, again from the joint venture solo Johansson Brothers album okay a 
trying to go too fast with it. And you just take it, keep it in the pocket. Okay, so here we go. The lick is actually not that fast, so um Okay. And you have a little blues, kind of a blues lick on the end. A little bit of attitude there. Okay. And uh, here we go with the next lick. Now this is from the uh, Tokyo Dream solo. The good one. The, there's one that's a lot better than the other. Uh, I think this is from the Far Superior solo. In my humble opinion. Okay, so let's try that again. Okay, so that, that's pretty easy, right? And this is actually, once again, very useful, usable lick. You can combine it with the other one. Let's see. Something like that, you know? Whatever. Okay, so let's let's learn how to play the lick. So you just start at the G, right, on the low low E string. You go, then you go to C sharp, to E, back to C sharp, to D. Do the same figure. So there's F sharp A, F sharp G. And so I'm not picking these. I picked the first one, right? I'm barely pl plucking with my uh, high, with my right hand fingertips. I'm just barely, like almost brushing the string. And if I have to pick, I come in with a pick, like just ultra quiet. And, and, and actually, I try and use the, I try and set it up to where I'm using the fingertips. And if I didn't have to sweep for my arpeggios so much, I'd probably just use like all all fingertips and throw the pick away. As a matter of fact, we could do that. See? Okay, so that's the, um, well, okay, and then the end. Okay, so then we go. I like having the note end on the B string right here on the 10th fret instead of the 5th fret E string. Because it's you get vibrato, you have a little bit more room to do some vibrato. So anyway, um, next uh, next lick is from the, the 16 Men album, Drums Were Yellow. Maybe somebody peed on them. No, just kidding. <laughs> Real mature. Um, okay, so that's that's really neat right there. You're you're alternating the the strings you're skipping over, and playing a diminished sounding lick.
Okay, so let's go back. So it starts on the G sharp right here. And you just skip over the G string. So we need to, and this is in groups of five. So we're going, and, and you count fives hippopotamus. It's the easier way to say it. You, know, you can count one, two, three, four, five, one, but it's uh, a handier way is just hippopotamus. Hippopotamus, hippopotamus. So there's two five note groupings. Hippopotamus, hippopotamus. And then you have uh, some 30 second notes. So one and a two and a one and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a hippopotamus 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 one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a it's hard to count it and play with a little bit of speed. Uh, I guess it's hard to say those words that fast. Anyway, so it's hip, hippopotamus, hippopotamus. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. Hippopotamus, hippopotamus. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. Okay. So that's the uh, drums were yellow lick. Okay, and now there's a uh, the intro to City Nights is one of the coolest licks you'll you'll hear played on the guitar, and I'll see if I can do it. It's very difficult, but um, it starts off with these fifths, right? So I'll just try and play it the best I can. See it messed up, so let's try it again. Yeah, messed up again, but it, it, it's getting easier, so let's try it one more time. Anyway, um, so that's, I'm going to show you the notes so you can work on it and get it up to speed. Now, I don't know where you can, uh, you could probably work this in and it's just an E minor type jam or A minor. So um, you start off with these fifths, right? So you go, I'm going to get it nice and close so you can see what's going on here. Uh, so we're at the, right, we're at the uh, A. And I'm just going to hybrid pick, right? Or you could try and pick it, but but so you go so you go right, you go A E, skip over the G string, which is um so I, I like to go pick, middle, ring, pinky. Pick, middle, ring, pink, pinky. And I just like to come down with the pick on the B again, and then like upstroke down. I'm not sweet picking here because we, we have plenty of time to just, these are like separate pick strokes. They're not, sweet picking would be if there would be like a single motion, but they're separate motions, right? Okay, so, so let's try that again. So. So we're going to sweep pick here, or you can do it, it's tough. You know, that's a pretty, pretty good way to play it actually. So um, I'm going to show you the way I, I, I learned it there. So that's, this is A minor 13, and you know it's A minor 13 because we have the A minor third, fifth, A, right, fifth octave, and then we have the B, the ninth, D, the eleventh, F sharp, the sixth, 
and then the G, which is the minor seven. So we're like fully spelled out, the minor 13 arpeggio. And so this is really tricky right here. And I, I don't know what these notes are doing in here, but it kind of implies like a D major. And an E major. And a F sharp major. Okay, so that's... So that's like uh, 12, 12, right? Then G sharp, F sharp. Then G, C. And then we go from up here to F sharp, A, D. So it's kind of like, so it's like D major, C major, then back to D major. And this is really done really quickly. And so when you come up here, you're gonna want a bar on the 22nd fret, right? So you can go down, down, up, up. So you go down on the F sharp 19th fret B string, down stroke, sweet pick through these two with a big down stroke, all right? And then the, the A on the 17th fret E string. And then you come up, up on the D and A. And then you hit this uh, D right here. Right, so you're gonna go D, A, D, then you go G, C. Now it's a kind of a different sounding sweep lick. But it's so fast here, you're really not, we're just trying to get down to here to, Okay, and so, so once you get down to this D on the A string, you're gonna, you're gonna, you got an upstroke. So you use the downstroke on the this E here to turn the pick around at the 19th fret, and you go down, and you sweep pick up the 17th fret. And it's pretty cool because you get like A minor going up. And then it sounds like A major at the la this this last few notes of the arpeggio. Okay, so once again, the whole thing is slowly is. I mean, that's like what got me into like for, first after I picked my job after the, the uh, you know in the car after listening to that I picked my job and like was like okay I'm gonna buy every album this man ever comes out with because that was just the coolest coolest guitar like I'd ever heard at that point honestly I mean I Paul Gilbert you guys gotta realize when Paul Gilbert did this in the 80s That was in just so insane. Just the string skip uh, C major six chord or A minor seven. Anyway. Um, so, so there we have the City Nights intro lick. Now let's uh, try and do uh, City Nights, uh, one of the licks he does, uh, sort of a more bluesy lick. This is really useful too. Let's try that again. So we go... He,
so let's try that again. So we're doing like this like D minor blues thing, right? At the 10, 12, 15 on the D string. So we're, we're, we're doubling up on this F here. Going up a blues scale, three notes per string. So we're, so we're gonna, so um, we don't quite double up on these notes. Okay, um, so yeah, so you got, it's nice like Hallsworthy, and I love when you do plays blues licks. It's really, really sounds great. Okay, so we have a lot of chromaticism here before before the blues licks, and then we have this nice. Uh, a minor arpeggio. Okay, so those are my uh, favorite Hallsworthy and Licks um, uh, that are a little bit more, some are, are they're a lot, well, uh, Quite a few are useful. Like you can actually might use parts of them. I mean, you probably wouldn't want to use the whole things, like I said, uh, but or maybe you would. Who, you know, who cares? No rules. But um, you know, whatever sounds the best, whatever sounds great, whatever sounds good, that's the right answer. Okay, whatever sounds the best to your ears. So um, I'm gonna try and get some more more videos up like this uh, with definite licks definite lessons gonna have a Don mock lesson coming up so don't miss that uh, on these cool some uh, very artful arpeggios as he likes to put them um, I totally had to rework the picking to 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 get it comfortable for me um, but anyway uh, so uh, check out um, subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet and make just check to make sure you're still subscribed because I upload and, and join me on the live stream every Friday that's where I upload literally every weekly um, but we're gonna try to try to do better than that this for 2018 my New Year's resolution more licks on a regular basis um, and so check out the patreon um, uh, you're funding my next album so we can get you know my third album going get in the studio once we have some uh, funds for that and um, and I'm always transcribing crazy piano stuff once I have another piece in the bag I'm gonna up I'm gonna do another album on iTunes uh, all, all uh, insane piano incredibly insane I swear even if you don't like piano you gotta you won't believe the jaw-dropping musicality okay all right, uh, so this is Marshall Harrison signing off, and um, yeah, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, adios.